Hi, I'm Helen and I'm an acoustic engineer. This is the story of Herbert and his new neighbours. Herbert was a little old turtle. He lived in a little old house and loved nothing more than to spend his days in the garden, tending to his beautiful roses and cooling his toes in his little old pond. One day, he heard a loud roar from outside and an enormous van came driving down his quiet lane. Out of the window, he saw that a family of elephants were moving into the house next door. The elephant family laughed and tooted happily as they unloaded all of their boxes. The next day, Herbert went into his garden and was about to water his roses when he heard screams and shouts and trumpeting. The elephant children were playing out next door. They shouted to Herbert, Hello, Mr Turtle. We're Gina and George and we're twins. <coughs> Hello, said Herbert softly to the children but he soon got a headache from all the noise and went inside to lie down where it would be quiet. But suddenly he heard the noise of very large feet running up and down the stairs in the house next door. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Oh no, thought Herbert. I can't sleep for all this noise. He tried to ignore it, but he just couldn't. The next day he got up to make a cup of tea and thunk, 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 there it was again. He tried wearing earplugs, but he could still hear it. By the third day, with all the thunk, thunk, thunks, Herbert was feeling so tired and so sad that he didn't want to go out at all. He looked out of the window and he saw that his beautiful roses were wilting and beginning to die. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. It was Gina and George. We noticed your beautiful roses are dying and wondered if we might be able to help you in the garden. We're very good at watering flowers, they said. Herbert started to snap. No, go away, but his manners took over. I mean, would you both like a drink? He asked, and they all sat out in his pretty little garden. Mummy and Daddy Elephant looked over the fence. Hello, Mr Turtle, how are you today? Herbert was quiet and shy, but plucked up all his courage to say, I'm not feeling very well as I'm so very tired. I can't sleep since you moved in as the noise of the children running on the stairs is so loud in my bedroom. I've tried ignoring it and I've tried wearing earplugs, but it still keeps me awake. Mummy Elephant replied, I'm so sorry, we didn't realise we were disturbing you. We'll have to see what we can do to stop the noise. Daddy Elephant told the children they must tiptoe on the stairs until they could find a way to fix the problem. Mummy and Daddy Elephant called Tilly the giraffe, who was the local handy animal. She always wore her hard hat and helped the animals in the lane with jobs around the house. She put in a thick, fluffy carpet with a lovely squidgy layer underneath to stop the elephant's footsteps shaking the whole house. And since then, the children come round every weekend to help Herbert in the garden. They use their trunks to suck up water from the pond and spray it onto the roses. And they play and trumpet to their heart's content. Herbert watches and listens to them happily while they look after his garden together. And in the evenings, he can't hear the footsteps in his bedroom since the thick squidgy carpet soaks them all up. But the children tiptoe up and down the stairs anyway, just to be safe. <laughs>